Hello, Mighty Joe here. <clears throat> this video here, I'm going to go over a simple way to progress with a Vulcan hand gripper. The hand gripper by a grip strength legend named David Horn over in England. Most everybody in the grip world is familiar with this thing. In my opinion, it's probably the best way to advance in your crushing strength. You just, in my opinion, you can't beat it. But anyway, what you do, and you, you probably all heard of this, but what you may not know is just how much resistance a, a rubber band adds. So <clears throat> let's say that, and by the way, as most of y'all know, these have come with various springs over the years since 2008. I've got an orange one on here. There was a red and black one, a gold one, the easiest one, the white one. But... For demonstration purposes, I got an orange one on here. And let's say that uh, you're stuck at a certain level on this Vulcan. Well, with the handles closed, from here to here is nine inches. So if you take a number 64 rubber band and you attach it to the very top notch, that adds approximately one and a, right at one and a half pounds of extra resistance. And the way I determined this is I took a rubber band and I suspended it and I attached weight until it stretched out nine inches, which is the same distance with the Vulcan fully closed. So, and I always attach it to the top. So, sometimes moving up just one notch with your spring is too much you can't I mean it's still too much so a, a real easy way to progress is with these number 64 rubber bands so there's one and a half pounds extra if you add another one it'd be three if you added four it'd be six pounds so and so on but that's a real good way to progress with these things I know a lot of people done this but what I've never heard anybody say is well how much force does it actually add to it well it's right at one and a half pounds so that's a neat little way to progress with these Vulcan grippers. Uh, I hope you like this tip and have a great day.